Hello, hello, and happy Sunday to all of my amazing Sagittarius. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today's Sagittarius. Hopefully you all are having a great day. I know that you are because that is the intention you set. Let's get right into your reading. Intentions are so, so, so important. They really, really are. Let's get into your reading. We are approximately nine days away from the next full moon, so... A lot of things are happening, Sagittarius. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Sagittarius as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Sagittarius need to take action. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. This card fell out the deck. I see somebody in a posture of gratitude. We have the Three of Cups. I see somebody in a posture of gratitude for where they are. And I'm telling you, that's half the battle right there. Just being in a posture of gratitude, just constantly just saying, you know, I may not be where I want to be, but I'm glad I'm not where I used to be. That kind of attitude, you know what I'm saying, Sagittarius? I see a lot of things moving very fast for you, like quick progression. We have the Eight of Wands. We also have the Ace of Swords. We also have the Lover's Card, which is attached to Gemini. We also have the Three of Swords, and we also have the Knight of Swords, right? I see you all getting real laser focused. That's what I'm saying, and that's where your breakthrough is going to come from. First, I see you in this posture of gratitude. That's how to, that's how you're going to speed up the things that you want, like whatever it is that you've been asking for, whatever it is that you want. If you've been at praying for a, um, a mended heart that's been broken for a long time, that's how you're going to be in a posture of gratitude and not in a sarcastic way. You know what I'm saying? Like some people are like, oh, thank God that person is out of my life. Not like that. It's more or less like, you know what? I'm glad that, you know, glad for the time that we had together, but it's time for me to move on. Like really, really move on. Like that kind of gratitude. Like I'm, I'm glad that I got out of that situation before I invested another moment in it. Right. So that it would have made it worse. This lover's card right here, at first on first glance, it looks like you're in a relationship with somebody, right? But this is really, really about you connecting with the divine feminine side of yourselves because this, you all are divine masculine by default, even though you have access to your divine feminine side, but by default, you all are givers. Your energy is directed outward, right? So in some cases, you all have just gave, given and given and given where people are just taking and taking and taking. Now you're really embracing all sides of yourself, the divine feminine and your divine masculine, right? You are like keenly aware of the divine feminine in you, the fact that you all have been um, such givers to people who, some of those people have just taken advantage of you, right? But now you're focusing on taking some time, just you. Some of you all are going to be with your friends, like me, myself. Some of you all are going to be like me, myself, and I, just kind of by myself, just in a posture of gratitude, just like looking up at the sky, like, God, thank you for real. Just thank you for getting me out of that situation. That's where you're going to see a breakthrough happen for you, like really, really, really fast. Whatever it is you've been asking for, whatever you have been praying for, you're going to see it happen quickly. Some of y'all are going to think, oh my God, I'm really lucky. <laughs> I mean, besides the fact that you have Jupiter as your ruling planet, the planet of, um, expansion right and good fortune so that's always good but i'm telling you people don't understand gratitude will get you places a lot quicker even if you're disappointed i'm just grateful and you like finding the silver lining in some things like i said we're approximately nine days away from um next full moon so the number nine is a number of transformation it really symbolizes evolution and enhancement of psychic abilities and clairvoyance Watch the fact that you all are just somebody came out of a really, really hostile situation, like a really and I'm, I'm saying here. All right. We have the king of pentacles. We're going to put this down here for just a second. I need to make a little bit more room. Excuse me. Sagittarius. Let me make a little bit more room over here. So you won't see those oracle cards until I pick them back up because I just need to make a little bit more room here. Somebody really got out of a very hostile situation where there could have been bloodshed, right? Like. It may not have been bloodshed, but it could have been bloodshed. Like somebody left a relationship that they were with somebody with and they like really fleed for their lives. They may, I'm sorry, flee. They fled for their lives. But for some of you, it doesn't represent a domestic violence situation. 
For some of you, it's like, you know what? I just need to get away from everybody, including family members that just really grind my gears. Like every time I get around them, I just feel like I'm about to say something that's going to hurt somebody's feelings. I need to focus more on embracing my divine feminine side. That's for some, for some people. Not everything is a domestic violence situation it could just go that way you know what i'm saying with people that you love but for somebody it was a domestic violence situation so i'm glad that you got to safety some somebody was in a situation where it wasn't just one person that betrayed you and hurt you it was some other people that were really really close to you all like somebody was in a situation where not only did they had to flee a situation um a domestic situation but they couldn't even count on their closest friends. They couldn't even count on their own family. So somebody feels like they're very, very much alone, but you're not. You got your ancestors all around you protecting you onto your next journey. So sleep well. Get your rest. You're going to be sleeping a lot better because you left the situation. You look, you turned, you took your power back. You actually ascended to your highest selves, right? Again, you're in your transformation. This temperance card is Sagittarius. Um, and so I see a lot of you all feeling a lot happy, a lot more organized, like you can think better because you're getting sleep, you're in a posture of gratitude, you're away from that hostility. Some of that hostility can be around, you know, family members. You'd be surprised at the number of family members who don't help um, domestic violence survivors through it because they're too busy trying to see both sides of the coin instead of being supportive of their own family. You'd be surprised at the number of people. So people feel like they're by themselves. So again, you just know, Sagittarius, that you're really, really not by yourselves. Your ancestors are watching over you and protecting you. This is going to be a very short reading. Like I said, I don't. there was no cards that came out for you all in reverse. Like in some of the readings, they came out in reverse. Um, all of your cards came out upright, but you took your power back. You took your power back. So somebody is really grateful to have gotten out of a situation alive, right? Communication is key. Communication is key, right? So was a Gemini involved? Because we talk about this, this, we see Gemini on this card and this lover's card is attached to Gemini. So does somebody, so Gemini also can represent embracing all sides of yourself, right? Seeing both sides of other people, but also embracing both sides of yourselves. Like, why did I over give so much of my time, my energy and attention to this situation when I could have left sooner? Next time I won't stick around. I won't stick around at family functions where it started to get, you know, it's starting to get hostile. I won't stick around at a job where I feel like they just, you know, don't appreciate me. I'm not going to stick around in romantic relationships where it starts getting hostile. Like, th this is where I'm seeing you all are just grateful. Like, look for fairies. Somebody never thought they were going to be able to leave a situation, but you're out of it. And so now it's time to start setting some very firm boundaries. That's what I'm seeing for you all. But like I said, things are going to move real quickly for you all. I see the outcome for you all is just loving yourselves deeper and harder. I'm seeing somebody being very, very happy. You know, like the outcome, because things are going to be, your healing is going to be fast. Things are going to be coming to you all fast. Like I said, you have the Midas touch when it comes to your money. So again, allow the universe, God in the universe to expose people around you, whether they're family members, friends, whomever, exes, it doesn't matter because all of those people are being replaced by this as well as new other, this is the energy of money. So, but it's, this is just one form of energy, but they'll be replaced by other energies, other people, other opportunities, the whole nine y'all. Some of y'all are going to feel so happy because you're, you're finally away from backstabbers and people running smear campaigns and the whole nine yard. So if you're going to be grateful for something, Sagittarius, be grateful, first of all, for people being exposed around you, because that's half the battle right there. Just being grateful that people were exposed, no matter how much it hurts, just be grateful that you were able to see all sides of people, but also be exposed to all sides of yourselves and like what, what you need to adjust. But again, this is, this is a win-win for you. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Have a great one, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.